have I got a surprise for you. I got one. This plate up here keeps all your coffee cups warm. This cup here is nice and warm. So we're going to put that under here. I will say it takes a shallow cup. It does sound like a truck running out in front of your house. Just, it's okay. You know it's working. Oh, looky there. Come on now. We're trying to get an even stream on both ports here. This one's not so even, but that one's not doing too bad. It's coming. Oh, that is looking good. That is looking good. There we go. It's a nice stream now. Now this will shut off automatically. It will pour, continue to pour, depending on how far over you turn the dial. Oh, will you look at that? Can you see that? I don't think you can see that. We're going to let that thing of beauty sit right there for a second. Now we're going to frost some milk. Yes, folks, I'm in Canada. We have milk in bags. As well as cartons and plastic jugs. All right. Let's try the frother. Now, I am not the best at this. I've done it once. Messed it up royally, but let's see what we can do here. So i got the steam spout inside the cup. It's working. All I did was I turned this dial. It's got water and steam. Just turned it over here to steam. And also, when you want the steam to steam to steam your milk, you turn the dial to this side over here as opposed to that side. clean your spout <laughs> all right so here we have our coffee look at that top that looks delicious and we have our froth milk I think you do this to get the bubbles to settle down I really don't know why but I've seen some some professional baristas do this I figured I better do it too all right Let's see how this works. Well, a bit of a... Anyway, that's what we got. How's that for latte art? No? I don't have much of a future as a barista. But this thing here does make it easy. My latte art. Well, I got an arrow on top now. Doesn't matter. Let's give it a try. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so the, the cup that I'm using in here is a single serving cup, a single shot. It does come with a double. And I'm not quite sure what this one does. So if you're looking for some expertise on... This cat's no expert. 
but I've been saying on my channel for a long time, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to get an espresso maker. Or as Ella used to call it, an espresso maker. I've got some heat in the comments over that before. I was talking like Ella would say it, an espresso maker, because she said it with an X. i got some heat. Ooh, some people did not like that. I had to clarify in the comments as to why I called it an espresso maker. It's an espresso. I'm aware of what it is. Anyway, this is not an expert review. I was not paid. To, of course, they're not going to pay me to give a review like that. But if you're just starting out looking to make it, looking to make espresso and looking for something different, this is a great way to start. I think it's about two hundred ninety-nine dollars, one hundred ninety-nine or two ninety-nine. I'll look it up and right there. It's a great way to get started. Uh, as far as latte art, I got a lot of respect for you baristas out there. Or as I used to say, barristers. It is an acquired skill. There's some pretty fancy things that go on top of coffees. And this dude here does not have the patience for that or the skill level to do it. I like to drink it. Also, I did tell you. I was using my own blend of coffee. I make my own coffee. It's uh, ro I have it roasted to what I like. And uh, I can drink it either as an espresso. I can drink it as a dark roast. I also have a medium roast version. So that might be coming soon too. If you're interested in getting some of my coffee, I'd be happy to send you some. Leave me a comment down below and we can hook this up. But with full disclosure here, I have made a few espressos. And... It's not just something you throw the coffee in and away you go. It, it doesn't work that way. You have to do what works because when it comes to packing the coffee, you push too hard, you won't get a very good stream. Kind of like when you get older. You push too light, you'll get grounds come through and they will plug up the ports down here. So that you have to learn. Frothing the coffee, you have to learn. You go too much, you go too thin, you don't do it enough, it's too many bubbles, it's just... You want to enjoy your coffee. But this is a fun way to learn to enjoy your coffee. This coffee right here is pretty darn good. In all honesty, it's one of the best espressos I've made. That is, that is a darn good cup of coffee. Anyway, like I said in the other videos, I've been mentioning time and time again that I need an espresso maker in one day. Well, that day is here. Actually, I've had this for a while. I've been trying to figure out how to use it. It's not complicated. I'm complicated. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, this is a Cuisinart. This is a Cuisinart. Now, that's a Keurig. You guys have all seen the Keurig. That's what I do. I'll do my coffee reviews in. But I love my espresso maker. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, again, the price is right here. I think it's $199, $299. But it's a great place to start. Anyway, that's it. Hope you all enjoyed it. I think I might go fishing. I'll see you all in the next one. And, oh, and you OGs will remember this. What do I always like to say? The best way to drink coffee is what you like to drink it. Later. that I don't have much of a feaster. feaster. There it is. We got it.